Hey guys, this is Martin. Welcome to our mini series on verb extension. Um, today we will be taking a look at something called the parameterizer, and it's a very useful extension I'm using on a daily basis as well. And its purpose is simply to gather parameters as you browse the website, right? And um, this is very useful because very often you're going to create custom word lists and things like that for later brute forcing attempts and stuff and um, writing those down manually is, is can be tedious, right? So um, there's a nice little extension and it is actually called Paramelizer. Paramelizer, here, here it is, right? So this is, this is the one and you can download it from the web store. Once you have downloaded it, um, you install it and then you enable it, right? It's simple as that. And then you will see there's another tab appearing up here. And then what you can do is you can simply browse around the website, right? Like, so um, let's just go to a few pages, let's log in and then see what the output is basically of, of our tool, right? So I'm updating my email as well. and like perform some activity like you would you would do in a, in a regular testing engagement right and then you come over to parameterizer and you simply hit analyze and then what it's doing is basically it's getting you all the parameters and stuff which it has seen so for example it there, there was a password right being passed the parameter password and the, the name was peter uh, which is true there was a c surf token there was a parameter called email there was one called username and you can see where, where they are like some of them are in the url some of them are in the body um, you can also see hey there's a cookie uh, there's a session cookie it's called session uh, defined within the the cookie type and um, you have also like an, an admin uh, cookie in there and, and things like that so it's super super useful because it goes through and it basically shows you exactly what um where they, also where there's a potential secret and things like that, like username, session, obviously, um, the password and things like that. So th this makes it super easy. You can export this out in, in CSV format and things like that. So super useful extension, highly recommend using it. Thank you very much.